Dennis, Cliff from Elevate Chiropractic and Rehab. I want to go over 9090 Pales Rails. So the setup, creating 90 degree angles with, with our legs. So my right tibia, my left femur are kind of creating parallel lines with each other. Same thing with my left tibia and the right femur. So that's the setup. So first for internal rotation, we're going to do this with the back leg. So we want to get to our end range first. So step one, I'm going to think with my right glute, my because my right leg is what's back, I'm going to drive that down towards the floor to kind of get more movement here, kind of in the hip socket. And then to kind of increase the intensity, we should have like a good stretch along here. To get there also, I'm going to kind of rotate my body to the right. So easier is going to be hands behind my back. So the further back, I go, the easier this will be, but still having a pretty good stretch through here. The further up I go, the more intense. You can even get to where I'm kind of even almost reaching over here to close that angle in even more. So it's kind of defining the right position that works best for you. From here, incorporating the pales rails. The pales is going to be pushing this whole leg down into the floor. You kind of think it creates tension through your core even through your arms that are on the floor and keep your spine nice and tall. So once you start to push down into the floor, you should feel kind of the muscles along the inside of the leg and kind of incorporate the muscles here at the hip first to help prevent it from being in your knee. So to start at about 20% tension, pushing down into the floor with the right leg, making sure there's no pain, gradually working your way up to 40%, 60, 80 until you get to about that max tension. So I'm pushing this leg down into the floor, holding for 10 seconds at my max tension. Once that time is up, I'll stop pushing, and then I'm just gonna reverse the tension. So I'm thinking trying to lift my foot up off of the ground, so essentially trying to do this. But since I'm at my end range, it's not gonna actually move and I'm trying to almost kind of sink deeper into the stretch as I'm lifting, try, or attempting to lift the foot and ankle up. Basically getting deeper into that internal rotation. So after holding that for 10 or 15 seconds, relax, see if I can get a little deeper and then repeat. So I'll do maybe two or three sets here. For external rotation, we need to find kind of the end range in external rotation. So with the front leg, I'm gonna face my chest kind of in line with this front leg to increase kind of the length of the muscles and the tissue on the underside of the leg here. I'm gonna sit my left glute back. My spine's nice and long, and I'm gonna pretend I'm trying to reach my belly button and my chest past my knee and go as far as I can until I feel this stretch in that left hip socket. Don't need to go, shouldn't need to go too far to find that. Once I find that, uh, it's kind of the same concept as back through here. So I'm going to create tension in my arms, tension in the core, and I'm going to start by pushing this front leg down into the floor, kind of starting about 20%, 40, 60, 80, and now about max tension, pushing down, hold for 10 seconds. So it should fill the outside of the left leg as I'm pushing down. Once I get to count back to zero, stop pushing. Now just reverse the tension. I'm trying to lift my foot and ankle, my knee and my leg all the way up towards my chest and try to sink deeper into the stretch. So I'm trying to close the angle from the knee to the chest. Should feel the muscles along here. Hold that for about 10 seconds. After 10 seconds are up, you'll relax the tension. Take a couple breaths, repeat two or three sets just like this leg here, and then you would transfer over to the other way, do two or three each side there. So that is the 90-90 Hills Rails.